what is going on guys i hope you're having a wonderful day and today it's actually going to be i guess part three of the whole interior conversion video basically what i need to do is that i need to remove these parts here but i need to remove the seat belt so i'm going to show you guys how to do that and i need to do the same thing on the other side but i guess i'll fast forward through that one and then i'm going to go home and then show you how i'm going to paint them because it's actually two pieces so there's two pieces you have this main one here obviously i took the airbag off and then this i need to take off but i'm actually going to leave it on because once I, I spray paint all of this stuff everything should be okay and then this thing here obviously now when this thing comes apart since these are two different pieces this you don't really need to worry about painting one spot and then the other since everything is literally just the line and then you can just move it over but I'll show you exactly what I mean when I get home and when I start painting this so I'm gonna go ahead and pull my car into the shop and get started on removing this and taking this apart and showing you guys what to do oh and a quick note I did end up finding finding out how to remove the pieces back there but I do I did find a way to remove the stuff back there basically it's just two clips so you just need to yank out but obviously you got to be careful because you don't want to break anything but that was actually relatively easy so Okay, so basically with this, this, it's relatively simple. You could just pop this off and then everything is basically free. And then, like I said before, there is this little spot here where you can just pull it. And then once you get it back here, everything comes off and then this is now separated. However, we do have to remove the seatbelt in order to get this thing free. So. Obviously, this thing needs to come apart. I'm gonna go ahead and move the seat back. Try and give myself a little bit more room. And everything here is, it's all just clips. It's just trying to figure out how to get them off. So is the issue. So there's a clip here you gotta push in and then it gets freed. There's another one here, but it's one that is really tough to get to. It's right there and then another clip right here. And I do believe there's another one over here same thing you just gotta push in and now i only need to get two more clips all right there we go I might have broken a clip or two but that's okay yeah let me see here where the seat belt is connected to okay so what you are going to need here is a t t10 and then basically you're gonna need to try and break this guy loose and once you do that you will be able to pull this bolt out this is a pretty long bolt so do keep in mind your fingers are gonna hurt now be very careful you don't drop this thing because it will be a pain now once you do that just pull this guy out And then all you need to do is just get this guy out and then just bolt it right back up. Now, so once you have this down, you can go ahead and put the seatbelt back together. Now it's going to go in just like so. Put that in there and then just start screwing it in. Now this is going to be really difficult, especially since you have the seat in the way. But you can hand tighten it to a certain point. And go ahead and grab the ratchet and then just start Run it back in. I like to leave it just like so, and then I could go ahead and just put flip this through again. Now it's all going to be the same thing for the other side. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. Now same thing with this side. Everything is already loose from when we took the headliner out. I'm gonna come over here, pull this back. I'm gonna find this little clip here. Once again, put the seat back, give yourself a little bit more space. Same thing over here, a little clip. Come over here. To do that, you could start pulling this apart. And then you are free. You have freed up the bolt in order to free the seat belt. Now what you are going to need to do in order to get this thing free is just lift up some of the trim over here, lift up over there. Go ahead and move to the back. 
come over here, lift all this stuff up. Once you get it up to a certain point, I like to release that. Go ahead and pull the carpet back, expose it, and come over here, and then just same thing. Stick it into the hole, and then just break it loose. Once you get this thing free, you can go ahead and pull the seatbelt out. Grab this thing. This is free on the other side, and now that is free. And then I just like to make it snug because I am going to need to take this apart again. All right, so since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and wash my car, and then I'll see you when I go home. All right, so I have made it home, and now I'm going to go ahead and start painting all these pieces. So I already went ahead and put all the other old pieces back in, like this right here some of the old pieces that I've uh, painted I like these little rails for the rear uh, sunshade I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the bag you got these stuff these little pieces here just stick them in there keep them all here in the corner so that, so that way they're out of the way and all in one spot so now all I'm gonna do is just grab all the beige pieces and then just basically that's it just pull them up bring them into the garage as you can see, I did went ahead and painted the sun visor. From some angles, you can tell that it was painted, but it's nothing too serious. Like, if you can see right there, that little spot right there, you can definitely tell it was painted. But straight on, you can't, you can't tell at all. Plus, this is going to be on the inside, so. And then, as you can see, I went ahead and painted all these pieces as well. This turned out really good. Really, really good. I went ahead and did this one as well came out really good so now I'm gonna go ahead and do all these pieces here try and get them looking all nice blacked out and hopefully that'll be it until I can get the headliner done and then put the seats back in all right now once again I'm gonna go ahead and grab alcohol and then clean up all the plastic pieces try and get all that cleaned up so that way the paint can adhere to it properly once again, whenever you do paint, you want to make sure you clean up the surface. And when it comes to like metal work, you want to make sure you sand that down too. Wet sand it. Now in order to remove this little piece right here, you're just going to slide it up. Up and over. So now this piece is free. Now this just comes right off. Now you can go ahead and put this down to the side. That's ready to get painted. That's ready to get painted. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up everything else and then I'll see you when I'm about to paint. Now, one thing I think you might be wondering is why I don't just get these pieces wrapped. The only reason I am not going to is because if you look at like all the other luxury cars, they don't have these pieces wrapped or filled with Alcantara. So I don't wanna kind of like overdo it with the Alcantara or with the black suede so I'd rather just keep this like just black and then kind of like make it look factory so to speak even though it's not but I'm basically I'm trying to make the car look as factory as possible just with you know like a different look to it so you now once again with the sun visor I'm gonna go ahead and put that down like that this I don't really need to worry too much about it I just basically need to get that whole thing painted same thing with this one. This, I can literally just paint over it as well, along with this, but let's see if I have the room. And barely, but this will have to do. And then I already cleaned out the plastic pieces there. So once again, first coat, very light. All right, once again, just gonna let that dry and then go ahead with the second coat. Okay, so I do apologize. This one's a relatively boring video, but mm, I, I just wanted to bring you guys along to kind of like the process of what I'm doing and how I'm getting all this stuff done. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, press that notification bell if you want to hear more from me, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.